Hello, my name's James Nichols, and today I'm going to be drinking a whole bottle of laxatives. No, obviously not. Here I am. Yeah, I'm back. I thought I'd do another video. Um, yeah, I was going to leave it a month. I thought people didn't want to see my mug <laughs> on the screen uh, too often. But yeah, I decided to change to do it two weeks. First and foremost, really the main reason is just because I need to say a massive uh, thank you to everyone who's like messaged and left comments, uh, everything really. It's always been really helpful. Uh, it has been helpful at, at times, you know. It's just nice, yeah, to be able to obviously have all that, like, in certain low times. Like, yeah, it's a bit of an ego boost, yeah, but you need an ego boost sometimes. That's what social media is there for, I think. Uh, those sweet, sweet likes. <laughs> but, no, yeah, I was going to do a month, but I thought two weeks, this is my first cycle done now. I've got my next chemo tomorrow, so it's every two weeks. And also, just from like various messages I've been receiving and conversations I've been having, I've realised that there's obviously quite a lot that uh, I can say, a lot to be shared. So, yeah, I'm going to make this an informative video, so I can't uh, guarantee it's going to be that exciting, but it's basically just, yeah, explaining a lot of things, um, and yeah, what, my, what I've taken from these two weeks, really, like the journey that I've taken before it all starts again tomorrow um so i suppose the first thing i'm going to start with is just what symptoms i had because i've had a few people asking and obviously it's it's something that it, that's the best kind of information that can be shared because if i you know you know you don't ever want it to anyone you know to or anyone to be in a situation like that but it can happen obviously so you hope that they're going to um you know they're going to yeah I forgot what I was saying, to be honest. But yeah, uh, you obviously hope that those that information will be passed on, you know, to help people get better. Also, this is just one recording. I'm obviously not editing anything. So yeah, if I say or do anything stupid, yeah, it will make the cut. <laughs> but yeah, my symptoms. So obviously, I had the lump in my neck and I went to get it checked and I did blood tests on me uh, and it came back okay. But then the lump got bigger, and then the real symptoms that I started to happen is, is night sweats. Uh, I had a couple of night sweats, you know, waking up, like, literally dripping in sweat, which uh, is not normal. Um, and that's what one of the main things I've sort of learned. Like, night sweats is a big, like, serious warning signs. So, um, yeah, look out for that, obviously. And weight loss as well. I was losing weight. I was, I was going to the gym anyway, so I was trying to lose weight. But the weight was really flying off, like... Yeah, I, I was working hard at the gym, but not that hard. Like, losing, like, two pounds a week by the end of it, um, which is obviously a lot. So, yeah, look out for that. What else was there? Itching as well. I had itching, and obviously at the time, I just didn't think anything of it. But it, it is a symptom, and it's hindsight's a crazy thing. Because, like, it's easy to look back at the symptoms and think, oh, bloody hell, yeah, I did have that, I did have that. And I left it, and luckily not long that long, because it's still, it's only stage three, so it's only gone to my lower diaphragm. It's just, you know, it's not everywhere. Like, it, it was caught early. But, yeah, so that's that on symptoms. Um, like, what's next? I suppose I'll just go through the whole two weeks the, the 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 two weeks that i have just lived through really basically from tuesday when i started the chemo to now the night before the next one um so yeah on the tuesday obviously i go in i guess i'm sat there for six hours i've got a cannula in my arm here and they're just putting different drugs in they're putting anti-sickness at the start for, for an hour and a half then one bag of the chemotherapy, then another bag, then another bag, and a syringe as well of another red drug, which makes you go orange, which uh, I found out. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's just six hours of sitting there really, it's a formality now. I've got my mates coming tomorrow. So that'll be good. Um, and then next I was given this bag of drugs to take home with me. Laxatives I had to source myself been helpful though definitely um and 
I was given all these drugs to take. So I'll just go through basically what my, my weekly routine on the medicine front is. I've got one of these things here. I don't know where you can see that. That's got all my tablets in. So that Tuesday is, that's the day tomorrow of treatment. So I've got in there, I've got my steroids. Yeah, the steroids I have for two days, the day of the treatment and the day after. And they're really good. They really perk you up. Um, they give you an appetite. They do keep you up at night though. So you do, you know, you can only have them in the morning. Um, but yeah, they give you an appetite. They just make you feel okay, really. Uh, you have anti-sickness as well, twice a day. They were obviously really good just to get rid of the nausea. Uh, and then I have two different antibiotics. One is for influenza, like the flu. Um, and then one's for like um, pneumonia, like it's a chest or chest infections. And I just take them all the time now for the next six months. Um, and yeah, that's hopefully just to stop me getting an infection really. I've then also obviously got ca calcium tablets, and then I've got this. It's like a sort of w weird tasting juice drink, and I have to swish it around my mouth. I take one milliliter four times a day. So I've just had it before I filmed this. Um, and that's four times a day, and that's to protect your throat from like thrush. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it really, the, the week. Uh, that's the week's medication. I'm going to take laxatives. I am going to have some today and hopefully it will take effect tomorrow because, yeah, the constipation was bad. But, yeah, the first two days after the chemo, I actually felt okay. Like, the steroids made you feel pretty good. Um, I was really, I was eating a lot. Like, I put on a lot of weight just over those two days. But then after that, those next three, day three and day four, and day five, is... Uh, that's when it's bad. It's almost like coming off of the steroids. Like, it makes you restless. It can give you like mood changes. I haven't had any of that, to be honest. Like mentally, luck, like thank you know, touch wood. I've still been pretty like you know pretty solid really, um, which is good. But it's more than the physical symptoms like the chest pain, uh, stomach cramps, um, headaches, sickness. And just like yeah just general pain really and that's for like four days but then the second week it's okay really the side effects go um yeah it was by about day six i would say or day five the day six where i was actually starting to feel pretty normal you know like i was able to do yeah i was able to be all right like i felt good like i went out i went yeah it, was, it wasn't too bad to be honest and today i'd, I'd say i feel pretty normal um, it's just the fatigue. That's the only thing that, that doesn't seem to go. And I think that's just because your body is constantly like rebuilding all these cells now that have been killed, like the healthy cells. Um, so you're just constantly tired, really. You know, wake up like it's midday, you know, it could be two in the afternoon and you'd be yawning and just body feels very fatigued. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, really. So, yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, I'll just go, I'll cover some positives, the positives and negatives that I've taken from these two weeks. Because like I said, I, I do want to make this informative. And, you know, if, if anyone's like going through this, basically, I, I want to be able to pass on information. So I won't, I'll go over the positives and the negatives. Um, and I'll start with the negatives as well, because... Obviously, I think you've got to go over the negatives, really. And luckily, there's not that many of them, to be honest. And they're not that bad. Um, first negative is obviously the side effects. Like, but that that's just the way it's got to be. But, um, yeah, you just get through it, really. You know, and then when you get to the second week and you feel okay... You've forgotten about the first week anyway. Like, ba like bad days are easy to forget in every as aspect. Like with all these negatives, I'm going to go over now. At this moment in time, right now, I've not. I'm, they're not affecting me at all, and they haven't. They've had no effect really. Like because you, you forget. Yeah, you forget about the bad days very quickly. So yeah, the side effects are obviously bad. Um, what else was there? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. Um, Ne there's like the, the negative thoughts, I suppose, and negative feelings that I've felt. 
there's obviously like there's a slight worry now with just a general worry about like the health of that. I think it's just something you you get over with time really. But and it's more actually just the fact of the chemo. But I find myself very worried about because my immune system's gonna be low, like germs and like you know, I don't know, like people like I've just become a bit of a germ freak, which is not like me at all. That is the complete opposite, <laughs> to be honest. But it's just the way I've got to be, I've got to be really, really careful. Um you know, because I don't want to get a, any sort of cold or illness with it, because it's just going to affect the chemo, really. Um, other negative, like, thoughts and feelings, really. It's just, yeah, the sort of, the glass half empty inside of you, which, which very rarely comes out, just, it it worries about, like, it looks at things from the other side. Obviously, you get told you're on 92% cure, cure rate, and you start like teaching on that eight percent you know and, and worrying and it, and it doesn't happen very often to be honest because you've, you've got to look at the, obviously the positives but it can still happen definitely and that's just something you've you've got to be able to do like just know that it's only a temporary thought and feeling and you are going to get cured so it's like it's just an unnecessary worry really like you want obviously yeah you want it to be 100 percent, but n nobody's got 100 percent chance of like living in life like that's just not the way like that's not how, like odds works anything can happen so yeah there's no point worrying about it really um yeah just look at it from the, yeah, the positive side but yeah it does happen um and then the other worry is that i've actually had which yeah it's like you worry that people are being nice to you or like extra things being done just because you're ill or like like if i say to if i asked my mates if they wanted to come round, they'd be like yeah yeah of course mate and it's like but they would say that anyway but if you like slight thoughts of like are they doing that because you know they're just being extra nice but then who care like who, who actually cares if they are because like that's what you're getting on face value anyway so if people are being really nice to you they're being really nice to you like enjoy it because it's not going to last forever anyway, like it's six months and it doesn't matter what they're ulti like any ulterior motive or if, it, if it's extra because you're ill, if it isn't, it is, but like they're still being really nice to you. So there's no point. Yeah, it shouldn't be an issue, but it, it is. Yeah, it, has, it is a thought that sometimes just creeps in. Like you can't obviously. Yeah, your, your thoughts are your thoughts. You just got to like deal with them. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it with the negatives. Oh, and food as well. That's the only other one, but it's not that, it, not much of an issue. Like, obviously I went to a burger place yesterday with my family. And I was looking at like the chicken burgers, but they all had mayonnaise and you can't have mayonnaise. You can't have mayonnaise, parmesan, salad cream, anything that's pasteurized, I think, or unpasteurized. One of the two. Um, and... You can't, then I was looking at the burgers, I was thinking, oh, that's red meat, it's like, should I really eat that? Obviously, I did just have the burger with bacon and cheddar cheese, which is allowed. But, yeah, it's just a bit of a faff, really, not being able to eat mayonnaise. It's basically just not being able to eat mayonnaise. That's the, uh, the a big faff for me, because I do love mayonnaise. But apart from that, that is literally it, yeah. That's all the negatives. Positives now, the good parts. Um... What positives can I... Well, firstly, I have... These last two weeks, I've never lived so healthily in my life. I've never drank so much water. Uh, I've never... Look, I've got green tea here. You know, I'm just... I'm, I'm living healthy. I'm drinking water. I've never had so much fruit and vegetables. All the meals that we're having, obviously, are like whole foods, healthy food. And I do actually feel pretty good for it. Um, I've started, because I've got so much time in the day now, uh, I mean, literally, drinking these laxatives is about, is the peak of the excitement on some days, an absolute godsend, I tell you. Um, don't have it all the time, it's not like some sort of unhealthy addiction to laxatives, but <laughs> on the days of the anti-sickness, those first few days, it does help. But, uh, yeah, moving on, I can't even remember what I was talking about now. Oh yeah, healthy living. I've also I've started doing uh, yoga as well, but it's like it's, it's 
called DDP yoga and it's like more intense so it's a lot more like muscle strengthening still but it is all like breathing you know deep breathing improving flexibility it's got to be good for you really um you know everyone rants and raves about it. and it, it was quite good I felt pretty good after it it was like 40 minutes and it's just like doing all that and stretching and tensing so it's good because that's the thing with the fatigue uh, and what I actually found out from the yoga, doing the, there was a part where you're doing press ups, and uh, yeah, it was just really, it, re it was I was really weak, really really weak. But yeah, that's the uh, I'm doing yoga. I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm looking at the time. It's in 15 minutes. I'm thinking bloody hell, that is long, too long, um, to be honest. But yeah, what else have I got to say quickly? Because uh, I've, I've noted down the positives because they are good and it's like, oh yeah, I can eat whatever the hell I want because the weight is just flying off, providing it's not like unhealthy, I can just have as much as I want, which I've never been able to do before because I've just got fat, so that's good, it's, that's the enjoyable part because I do like, obviously I like food, minus the mayonnaise, um, yeah, so yeah, the health, the healthy living, the yoga, I'm going to try meditation as well. Uh, yeah, see what all the monks are raving about. So obviously that's meant to be good. It's just something to do, kill some time really in the day. Uh, and it's all about w wellness as well, obviously. Keep keep the mental state in check and obviously in the best position to get through the six months and make sure they go as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, and that's, that's about, I mean, just a general attitude as well. It's obviously changing, like, I know it's cliche, but it's like the general like outlook on life. I don't know in what it, what in what way it's shaping yet, but it's definitely changing. Like just yeah, just you know looking at life. I don't know what it even is at the moment. Yeah, it's like yeah, it is such a cliche. But it's like noticing the little things, like making the most. Like when you have a good day, you really appreciate the good days, and like you can, you just appreciate more. I think. Because, yeah, I don't know. I, maybe the next time I film, I'll be able to have a, uh, you know, better working out, really. But, yeah, that's about it. That's all I've got to say. Um, so, yeah, I don't... No, that's it. Uh, an update on actually me and what's going on with me. So, in a month's time, when I've had two... When I've had four full cycles, eight weeks or six weeks... Um, I have a PET scan on my body and that will basically say where, how well I'm reacting to the chemo and if I'm not reacting well, I'll have a more uh, intense treat like dosage or if it's going well, they'll take one of the bags off and I'll just have three. So I'll find out that in a month or so. Um, so that's probably the next time, obviously, I'd, I'd do an update now because there's no point. I've literally <laughs> spoke for nearly 20 minutes. So that's all you're getting. Obviously, just what a long and one. I might, I might film, do something when I shave my head, which is going to be happening soon, definitely. Uh, but that I'll, I'll probably just put that on YouTube or something. Because yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, apart from that, obviously, yeah, it's all pretty good to be honest. Like the main thing I'm sort of for me is I'm thinking it, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Like people get this kind of news when they've got like families and kids and bills to pay and I've literally just got nothing like I'm living at home so it's sweet I've still got mates nearby basically every day is a Friday no not even a Friday like that that sort of Friday afternoon at like six o'clock seven o'clock when you know you've got nothing to do for days I've just got that every day <laughs> so it's not yeah it's not too bad really I'm making the uh, best of a bad situation but fingers crossed in a month and a half I'll have that pet scan and they'll say, yeah, it's really good. Obviously, you're reacting well. And um, that's it. Just carry on, really. So, yeah, that is disgusting. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's it. Nothing else to say. Bye.